It was asked recently that I do a video of who my favorite YouTubers are, and so I decided to do that, and that's what you're watching. So here they are. Back in late 2006, I just kind of stumbled upon YouTube. Uh, YouTube was still a brand new site, there weren't a whole lot of users on it. Um, there were a couple thousand, I think, but... Um, yeah, it hadn't turned into the website that it is right now. So when I realized it could become a creative outlet for me, I started just looking up random stuff to see what other people had put on. And at that time, people just sitting in front of a camera and talking was like a huge thing. People were really into vlogging. People are still into vlogging right now, but it's kind of changed. They've kind of upped the pace a little bit. and. They know exactly what they're talking about because several of these people can do a video for 10 minutes just talking about whatever without saying um or uh or having to stop to think about what they were saying. Sexy Phil is a master at this. Sexy Phil. He's not sex. He's S-X-E. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, Sexy Phil, I don't know how he's able to do it. I, I don't know if he just really genuinely feels what he's talking about and is that passionate about it to just talk about it. Because I don't know if you watch these videos, but the man talks so fast. But apparently what happens is when you look at the picture, that visual stimuli goes to your brain and it's like... Man, shit, Definitely check him out. Sexy Phil, man can talk up a storm. It's like the whole world's falling apart. You'll like him especially if you're into entertainment news. Uh, he's really up to date with all that stuff and he puts his opinion in there and he makes it a lot more interesting and fun. Sexy Phil, he's not sexy, he's S-X-E. Yeah. The Winecomb was the first vlogger I bumped into. Uh, on YouTube, and he is funny because he's random, he's a geek, uh, and, and, you know, like me, he has no problem with being who he is. Uh, he's true to himself, and he makes use of that on YouTube. Uh, his vlogs are freaking hilarious. I haven't seen him do one serious vlog, uh, I don't think. But yeah, he's, he's badass, and I, I've, I've had the pleasure of, of corresponding with him back and forth. Um, and, and he writes back. Well, he has written back to me, but I don't write him stupid, you know, letters or anything like that. Uh, thanks, Winecomb. Thanks, Tony. Uh, you're awesome. Next is Happy Slip. Happy Slip is a young Filipino woman, and she is very creative. Uh, she Her sense of humor is not nearly as, as rough as some of the other uh, YouTubers that I've been watching. I'm almost blind. I'm severely nearsighted. My prescription for my contacts is negative eight, and if I were to take these things out, I would have to get this close to see you. Um, she's very family-oriented, and in fact, she does a lot of her videos where she portrays family members, um, and she does all the parts. She she dresses up as them, and and she does her own little skits. She does music writing. She's a very good, talented musician. She's awesome. She's just really cute. And and all the best to her. And I haven't watched any of her videos in a long time either. So I need to get back to that. Sorry about that, Justine. Or, I mean... <laughs> Speaking of uh, Justine, there's iJustine. And Ju iJustine is like the poster child for Apple. Hi, guys. Hey, guys. So I'm here at the Apple Store. The Apple Store. Apple Store. Apple Store. She will actually go to the Apple Store and dance and sing and do things and she's been on a couple TV shows. I love her to death. I think she's great. Spricket24. Oh my god, I love this girl. Um, jeez, you know, I, I love her so much. Yeah, she will talk about anything and everything and she does it and it's freaking funny. My favorite one is where cereal is her crack. You gotta look that one up. Cereal is my crack, I think, is what the uh, video is called. And then there's one about St. Patrick's Day and the potatoes. She <laughs> my two favorite videos. I got those favorited. 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 Yeah, favorited. Sorry. And, um, yeah, she's just amazing. She is incredible. I highly recommend her to anybody. Um, yeah. I just scratched my ear talking about a YouTuber I have a crush on. Uh, yep. David Choi. David Choi is freaking amazing. Uh, he has done some of the greatest covers of any song I've heard, including classics like uh, What a Wonderful World and um, Somewhere Over the Rainbow. I've heard it all my life. It was I was never a big fan of that song until I heard David Choi sing it. And he played guitar chords that I never knew existed um, 
and he's saying that he's got an incredible voice, um, and he's now doing tours or you know around the country, uh, going to college campuses and whatnot, and doing really well for himself. So you know, all the best to David Choi. I, I actually really really enjoy his music. He's got two albums out as far as I know, uh, maybe a couple singles out, um, and. If you haven't gotten them yet, and I haven't, <laughs> go get them, and I will. Sorry, I didn't try. I just remembered that. But I'm plugging you, all right? So good luck, Joy. Now let's talk about Dax Flame. Dax Flame. Dax Flame is this teenage kid who, you know what? I can't even tell you about him. He's he is freaking hilarious. But his videos are freaking epic. For my first singing, I am not going to sing a song. I'm going to show my range and what I can do with my voice box, a little thing I like to call my voice box. With Wine Cone being my ultimate favorite, I would have to say that uh, Wong Fu Productions would be number two. Um, Wong Fu Productions consists of three friends that met uh, at the University of California, Santa Barbara, I think. Um, they took a film class together and now they've got their own little film production company out there. And they make a lot of short films, they make uh, a lot of skits, and they on occasion make some vlogs. Um, they're really talented group of guys. In fact, I consider them a bit of an inspiration when it comes to uh, filmmaking. And um, I wish those guys all the best. These three are probably by far the most talented group of guys on YouTube. So definitely check Wong Fu Productions out. Um, but as for that, I mean, there might be one or two other uh, really good video vloggers uh, that I like to watch, but those are pretty much the top, the top few. Um, so check those guys out and guys thanks for watching as always and uh... all that